One thing that the instructions don't tell you is that you need to finish your seams. You don't ever make a garment without finished seams. So what we're going to use is our, all the seam finishes you learned today. The easiest one is the overlock or the serger. So what we're going to do, and you've done this before, we're going to run this through the serger, and we're just going to put a finish on the edge of the seam. We're not cutting it, okay? See how I'm trying not to cut? This is a really tight stitch. And now this is where your notches end up cut off, and you also lose, you lose part of your tick mark. It's harder to see, but here's how I can tell where the tick mark is. When I hold this up, see how I can see where it's basted, and then down there it gets sewn. <laughs> okay, so I know where it stops, and I can still kind of see it. Look, right there, see? Mm -hmm. There it is. But we need to finish all the seams on the garment. Okay, so now I've finished the back seam. I'm going to get up and go back to that machine and do my zipper. Okay, so let's all, can you make it? All right, <clears throat> so the instructions tell us to put a zipper in. Remember how we did zippers in class. We need to know where those, that tick mark is, and it's right there. So I'm going to take a pin and put the pin right where it is so I can see where to stop my zipper. Okay. The next thing is we have three-eighths of an inch wide tape. It's not half an inch. I'm going to take tape and put it, start it there and center it over the seam. Wow, I cut that exactly. Now, see, third, where you were worried about where it was pulling apart? Mm -hmm. I just taped it back together. Oh. So I'm going to take a zipper, and I was struggling with whether to use a white zipper or an off-white. I'm going to use off-white. We always want a zipper that's way too long so we can put it in without trying to dodge around the, uh, the uh, pull. Okay, so now I'm going to take this foot off. Now, on this machine, when you have a home sewing machine, the zipper foot can be on the right-hand side or the left-hand side, whereas on the straight stitches over there, you have to pick a left zipper foot or a right zipper foot. All right, so I take this, I lay it under the um, seam, and I'm centering, watch this, I'm centering the teeth under the seam, right? And I've got all that zipper sticking off on the top. I'm going to come right here, and I'm going to use the zigzag foot to place the needle so that it's close to the edge. And the zipper foot is not going to allow the, um, it's not going to crawl up onto the zipper. So that's what we use a zipper foot for. And I'm trying to sew on the edge of the tape. Okay, so now I get probably two inches of it ready. See how with my fingernails I can tell where the, the teeth are. Go that far and I'll get the next little bit relic ready. You only have to do this on one side. See how I'm able to center it like that? When I get to the bottom, I don't have to keep placing the zipper anymore. Now when I get down here, I can look under here, lay it on top of the teeth to make sure that it's centered. Again, get down here to the bottom. When I get to the bottom of the tape, put the needle down pivot, come across the teeth, and I even sometimes backstitch a little just to make sure the teeth can't separate after I cut the bottom off. Turn around. Now I don't have to place the zipper. The zipper's already placed. Okay. Do that, cut my strings, pull the tape off, 
and there's the center zipper in the back, okay? Just the same as you've already done, it's just now not on a swatch, it's on an actual garment. So I'm gonna turn this around. Because I went back and forth, and you want to leave about an inch. Do we have to sew the edge of the zipper? What do you mean, sew the edge? Um, here. Like I already did. I sewed oh, it across when I did okay, that. So yeah. Remember, I went matter. back and forth again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good question. it open. Okay, so now here's the zip. We don't cut the top until we put the waistband on, okay? What is the next step? How many minutes are we? Oh, we're at six. Okay, what is the next step? Yes. There we are. Okay, so step four, stitch front to back, yes. together at sides. Stitch front to back, together at sides. So here's the front. <clears throat> I turn it with the right side or the correct side up. I take the back, I lay it on top with the right side down so that right sides are together, correct? So, so the yes, now look, check it out. If it's cut properly, look at that. The notch lines right up. I may put a pin there. Now I'm going to sew this together at 5 eighths of an inch. So I take the zipper foot off, put the straight multi-purpose foot on. Sorry, <laughs> got the foot caught up in it. Okay, so take this, line it up perfectly at the top. I got my notch lined up. Now remember, this is a curve. It's not a straight area, it's a curve. So I have to treat it as a curve. See how the fabric's over here? That five eighths? Yes. I'm feeding it in at five eighths and you have to maintain seam allowance. And so, oh, now the pin has got us caught. There, straighten it back up. See how I'm lining everything up? And I'm keeping it at five eighths. So see how that's starting to come out? Mm -mm, put it back. Make it even. Get the others, put the sides together. That's oh, what she that said. Oh, so easy. Mm -hmm. So put these two, the notches are together. I don't know why this machine won't go any faster. I think I guess me impatience. Yeah. Okay, I'm using this hand to make sure that these are coming in lined up together. And so that nothing underneath doesn't belong under there. Because you see how I can't see what's on the bottom? Mm -hmm. I'm still responsible for what's on the bottom. So I don't want something like this to creep under here Ooh. and get sewn in it. It happens. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. yeah, so I keep this hand as making sure that I feel that everything going in there belongs in there, okay? Especially when a dress or whatever is almost done and you have so much fabric and how heavy it gets. It start, and so notice what I do about that. You don't ever want to let it hang like this. No. Put it up on the table yeah. so it's not pulling. Okay, now this isn't heavy, but you're right. If you're making jeans, I got you all that denim. It could get heavy and start pulling it. And it's not good for the machine to be sewing something that's pulling against it. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back over here, if you can reach, and we're going to do what? Finish my seam. Every time I make a seam, finish a seam. 
okay? So, here we go. Knotting? No, this, do, this machine does not knot. Yeah. It does not go backwards. And I see how I'm cutting very little. I'm trying to just finish the edge. That's all I want to do. I don't want to compromise how fat that is. Okay, so now we'll do this side. Every time you make a seam, finish a seam, then press a seam. Okay? So now we're going over here to this side. this one. See, once I've sewn the seam, I don't need my notches anymore. So it's okay to cut them off. The notch, see that notch? It's done its job already. Okay, so now let's go to the ironing board. Press them open. We're in a video. So we're going to press these open. Just hold on one second, chair. Do you want me to just move this? It, the cord is not long enough. Oh. I usually put the ironing board on the table, and I didn't because I thought the cord was long enough. And you're paying the price of that. Okay, so there's that side. This is easy peasy. <laughs> it really is. Used and cut off. <laughs> you just <laughs> use them. Yeah. Oh my god. You don't know about that? <laughs> okay, so we're going to do one more thing that the instructions did not tell us. While I've got the serger, I can serge two more things and be done with serging. I need to serge the hem. Okay, so let's go back and do that. Now, this is the first time you're going to serge a circle. You've always just done one long piece. Now it's going to be in a circle. So let me show you what you have to do. You have to blend it on. See how I arrived on it, blended it on? Keep all these open. They need to be flat. Don't let them flip like this. They've got to stay flat. Okay? And remember, there are three seams. Keep going. And you're just going to keep going around in a circle. Pull that out. Now that I'm around the circle, I just blend it off. I just exit, OK? Mm -hmm. Is this the bottom? Yes, that's the hem. And we're going to turn that up and make it into a hem the way we want. I think we can keep going. What do you think? Okay, stop that video.